And that's the end of our segment on the love and loss of an iguana. Thank you, Aberdale. Hey, Clarence, Jeff. Thank you so much for visiting me at our studio today. Deborah Copper. Let me show you around. We're pretty small, but we're proud of having our own voice. You know some of the other people who've been on the show? Randy, the newspaper boy, Lucine, the garbage lady, the librarian. What? She already oh, interviewed her. And now you'll be one of them. <gasps> I drew that. Oh, yeah. It gives me an idea of who you really are. You know, Clarence. Uh oh <gasps> We're on in 10, guys. Don't be afraid of the microphones. This is it. I hope you practice all your lines. <laughs> Beetle Buggy Baxter the Butcher's Boy. There's some water for you if you need it. Good morning, Aberdale. Today we have something very special. Two young voices of Aberdale's very own. Clarence Wendell interviewing Jeffrey Randall. <clears throat> Jeff, what is your greatest achievement? Just one? Kidding. <laughs> but uh, when you've achieved as much as I have in such a short time, it's almost impossible to pick just one. Uh... Don't be nervous, Clarence. Oh. Ha, 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 you are a riot. What are you most proud of? Wow, my greatest one. Huh, well, I guess I'm just most proud of setting such a good example for everyone else. There's a lot of joy in that. Clarence, response three. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. <clears throat> that is truly inspiring. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I was born June 14th. Yes, Flag Day. I am the chairman of the bird watching club, chess club. Some also people don't pay attention to this, but we stuff. must recognize the importance of work. Clarence, word. What's that? <laughs> Clarence, you coughed directly into my mic. That's gonna get all in my mouth. Oh gosh, I can smell your spit from here. Cover your dang mouth. <laughs> hey buddy, don't leave yet. Check out more great moments from your best pal Clarence. Subscribe now.